My name is Courtney Owen. I'm an engineer on the Office Platform Extensibility team. And specifically, I work on DevX features, uh, developer experience features. So uh, over the last quarter, we've shipped a couple of really cool features. One of them is Script Lab for Outlook. And uh, I'm not sure if any of you have experience with Script Lab, but Script Lab has been uh, supported on Excel, Word, and PowerPoint for quite some time. But we haven't had uh, support for Outlook until, well, just a few weeks ago. So I've got my Outlook open here. I already have the extension installed. You see it here, Script Lab. But if you want to install it yourself, you can just go into the extension store. And I also, I want to give fair warning. This machine that I'm demoing on is not the most robust machine. In fact, I ordered a new one yesterday. So things are not going to be as snappy as they might be on your machines. So if I type in script here, we see script lab for Outlook. And you can read more details about what it does. But for those of you who are not familiar with script lab, it's a tool that was designed uh, during a uh, thing that we have at Microsoft called Hackathon, where you can basically work on kind of any little project that you want to. And a few people got together, I guess, maybe two years ago and worked on Script Lab. And what it allows you to do is to develop uh, Office JS code to perform actions in Office and to immediately see the results of that code. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the runner here. And this will probably be much snappier on your machine than it is on mine. OK, so that's open. So first, I'm just going to show you. I have a script already loaded. And if you see this little uh, tag here, this allows you to pin the task pane such that when I navigate through mail items, the task pane will remain open and pick up the context of the mail item that I'm in. So here I'm doing, who is this mail from? I'm going to click this, and it's going to say Azure DevOps. When I go down here, it remains open, and it says it's from Lou. And you can just keep going on from there. Now, let's say that I want to do a new script. I want to create a Office JF script that does something different. So then I can either go here and click on code, or there's a button here that says Open Code Editor. OK. Now, see, that's the previous uh, script that I created. Who's this from? But we have a library of samples that you can choose from here. And Script Lab for Outlook is supported in Outlook Read Mode, Outlook Compose Mode, Appointment Create Mode, and Appointment Attendee Mode. So uh, the samples here indicate what the mode is. So since I'm in Read Mode right now, let's find another read script and see how that automatically loaded there. And then I can go, who's this to? And once again, navigate through here and you can see uh, this out, uh, Office JS is immediately executed in your pane here. So you can you know, make a quick change, just add a couple exclamation points. And you'll see those exclamation points were picked up, message sent to. So it's a super fast way to test out your Office JS scripts. And this is new to Outlook. This is also supported on the web. So if I go over to the web here, the uh, UI is a little bit different for the web uh, just because the way Outlook web access works. And so here, it's a fly out here. And you do run, and you can pin it just as you do in desktop. Once again, who's this from? Who's this from? So that's how Script Lab for Outlook works. So um, we work on uh, Edge, Chrome, Safari. We work on Windows Desktop, Mac Desktop. 
Uh, Firefox right now has a bug in it, not just for Outlook Script Lab, but also for the other host as well. So uh, hopefully you guys will appreciate that and give it a shot. Thank you.